So we were talking about um, John the Baptist last time. That's me. That's you. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, and I wonder whether we might talk about it a little differently today. I wonder if we might think about um, when when you first realised that you were John when the I Baptist. When I got my mission. Yeah. That is such an important time because I saw this cross in the clouds and I was just walking down Wall's End and this white cross in the clouds, I thought, that is incredible. And then I looked up at this billboard and there was pornography there. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was, but she was hardly wearing any clothes. And my mind just, mm. it all came together. Yeah. The cross, the billboard, the pornography. What was that moment like for you when, when that first happened? Oh, it was a complete revelation. All my anxiety fell to nothing. I, I knew then the meaning of my life. So a very strong sense of meaning for you. Oh, it? so rich, the sense of meaning. Really rich sense of meaning. How and can you doubt it? It seems like it's really meaningful for you. How did you feel when, when you saw the cross there? And then you made the connection and you had this really strong purpose in life. Well, I had this weird feeling that something was going on and I was getting quite anxious, you know, butterflies and stuff in my tummy. Yeah. And then I saw the cross and I thought, oh, that's really interesting. Mm. And then I saw the, the pornography and somehow the two just came together, mm. that my mission was clear. What was it like when you realised how, how clear your, your mission was? How did you feel emotionally? so full of energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I probably had tons more energy mm. than you would have. So really energised. Energised. Yeah. Full of it. I could go into any news agent and just rip the pornography off that top shelf and say, there, that's what you're selling. So a lot of energy and it sounds like, am I right in thinking that quite powerful you felt? Very powerful. Yeah, okay. A lot of news agents would say, okay, I don't want to sell it, mm. but I do it for the money. Yeah. Well, that's no argument anymore, Tom. Okay. W what, I wonder if we could just think about what was going on in your life before you saw the cross. Just give me a context about what was happening in your life. Oh, that was a strange time, really. Um, I think I would say I was going through some trials and tribulations. Yeah, such as? Um, well, I, I was running this business as a mechanic, and uh, pff, business went bust. They didn't pay their bills, and I lost the garage. Mm. So I was a bit kind of down in the dumps and nervy. And then my girlfriend went and left me mm. because I wasn't paying the bills. So, so oh, yeah, I was like, that was a terrible time. It sounds horrendous. But these are the tribulations that we go through to reach where we get to. So that you see it as a trial kind of or tribulation that you've gone through. At the time when it was all happening, though, before you realised you were John the Baptist, how did you feel about yourself? Before I realised my mission, I was, I was always a bit unsure about my role in life, really. Yeah. It's like I never really found my place. Yeah. I didn't mind working with the cars, but it wasn't enough. Right. So you weren't quite sure of your role, and mm. then some very difficult times came along. Mm. Uh, you described when you had your mission how you suddenly felt energised and powerful. How did you feel beforehand? Oh. I, I felt tired mm -hmm. and I felt sad. Okay. Well, that seems understandable given the, the things that were going on in your life. But it didn't last long. Because? Because I saw the cross mm. and the mission. I wonder if you see any connection between the two things. So you feeling uh, very low and lacking energy and not feeling important and feeling unsure and then suddenly having a... Uh, feeling very positive and very strong and very important in yourself. Mm. I wonder whether you, you can see that there's a connection between those two things. Well, there's a thing called the testing time, when a soul is tested for mm. a mission. Do you know about these things? To some degree, yeah. Because this is a common understanding. Yeah in various religions that you go through these times. So you feel that you were going through a trial in preparation for your role as John the Baptist? Absolutely. I wonder whether there's another, another explanation that maybe you haven't considered, and I wonder if I could put it to you and see what you think, um, that this idea came along to you because you were feeling so low 
and you've gone through such a difficult time in your life and therefore by having this idea that you were John the Baptist it was a way for you to feel very powerful and energized so actually John the Baptist as an idea solved your problems in a way because it made you feel all the things that you wanted to feel but but weren't going on in your life at the time what do you think about that as an idea I think it's a revolting idea I mean I can't believe I've been preaching to you this long mm -hmm. about pornography and all its problems yeah and you can come up with something like that it doesn't you don't you don't buy it as a possibility that that could be the case we've got a mission to complete here yeah so you're still very sure that that there's a, a mission to complete you're a doubting Thomas that's what you are well aren't you well I suppose I do have quite a, yeah. quite a lot of doubts yeah about about lots of different ways of seeing things and um, I wonder if you have any doubts about about um, about your idea that you're John the Baptist and any doubts about whether I might have be onto something here that this came along at a time when you you were so low that may maybe that's why it came along at that time I was low at that time and I don't mind if you want us to talk about that yeah if that will help you to understand the mission yeah I don't mind talking about that okay well I guess I'm wondering if if there's any if you feel that that time in your life was the reason that this idea came along well I think I've already explained that it was a trial time yeah okay so it's a it's kind of a coincidence then is what is that what you're saying that no no it was it was a trial and a preparation for ah, is that right got it gotcha okay yes okay all right well all right well it doesn't sound like that explanation is one that that you are one to prepare to be to consider no nope. particularly no okay well I wonder whether for today we leave it there okay does that sound okay